right, today I have another key related video and it should be useful to a lot of you out there. Um, what it's on is how to program an additional key to your vehicle, an ignition key. And what you're gonna need is two fully functional ignition keys in hand, ready to go, that are pre-programmed to the vehicle. And then you can easily add your third key that you just got cut somewhere uh, and save the programming charges on the vehicle. It's very simple, a few flicks of the wrist and we'll be able to program it. It'll be fully functional even on these IKT ones with the remote inside. Even the remote will be programmed all at the same time. I'm going to show you how. Okay, now in a second here I'm going to show you the whole procedure in order so you can see it from the ignition side here exactly what to do. But first I want to show you what it looks like in the cluster and what to wait for. Uh, before you put that next key in and cycle it. So we're going to put you down in the cluster here. And I'll let you see the lock icon there. Now when you put the key in each time and turn it to run, you want that light to go solid and then prove out like that and go out. After that, you can go on to the next key. So you're waiting that you know, three to five seconds for it to prove out on there and they can go on to the next key so make sure that happens or else you're going to do this over and over again. Okay, here we go. We're going to start off with the two keys that are already programmed to the vehicle. It doesn't matter which one first, just as long as you do the two program keys and then we move on to any new keys. So we're going to put the key in, okay, on position, wait for that theft light to go out, two, three, five seconds, take it out. Then we're going to put the second programmed key in there. Same thing, let it prove out in the cluster. And then you're going to take your unprogrammed new key and do the same exact thing. Wait for the light to go solid and the light to go out. Now at this point you turn the key off, you're out of programming mode, and you can go ahead and try each one of your keys. And it's a good idea to make sure all the all the keys are programmed still and you didn't knock one of the other keys off there. It's kind of rare, but it does happen. So let's try our new key first. Starts. And the other keys. Now if the vehicle starts up, the key is programmed bar none. On the Chrysler vehicles, they have a prop, they have a they have a thing where it starts for three to five seconds and it'll die out. Fords are not that way, so don't get them confused. Also, you want to make sure your RKE functions on the remote here all work. Try different keys, uh, different buttons on each one of the remotes, and make sure everything's functional on there. And that way we know that each one of these programs both the key for Pat's security and the RKE for remote functions. Now of course this information is also printed in the owner's manual but it's always nicer to have a walkthrough so you can follow along and know just how long to hold each one of those ignition cycles on there so you don't go too slow or too fast and get kicked out of the key programming on there. So hopefully this helps. This should only take about 30 seconds or so and it's one of those things that every Ford owner should know about.